Hello, my name is Addison Miller, and my life story began when I was just a little kid. When I was first born, I started off having uh, some hearing issues, and so that affected me all the way through. Well, not really today, but up until I was about two years old, I started having uh, some hearing issues, and then I ended up getting surgery for it from the doctor, and then eventually it all turned out that the hearing issue had affected me in a way that I've had a stuttering issue and since and then ever since I was little I've always had the stuttering issues and then growing up I've always been kind of struggling to talk to people that sort of way and like being able to carry on a full conversation without people laughing or smirking or getting smart with me like oh you forgot your name and stuff like that which that's happened to me before but anyway I've had a lot of people tell me when I had a stuttering issue that I am not good enough or I am not a great conversationalist which that part was actually true because I didn't know how to physically control myself in order to speak clearly and think about what I was going to say to other people so I am now trusting in God and relying on Him to think before I say things. But anyway, back to the starting issue. Um, going through my first few years of school, all the way up until about 8th grade or so, is when it wasn't too bad because I went to a private school at first. And a lot of people understood that I had a stuttering issue and they weren't even the slightest bit about like ever saying the wrong thing to me or ever making fun of me so and then I've always had them tell them like I am special and that I am able to do this if I put my heart and mind to it then going to high school I became not as confident as I did in middle school because it gets to that point where everybody was always like smirk behind my back if I was to speak up in class or share a presentation. There was a lot of people that would always laugh at me and because of that I took the initiative to tell my parents that I wanted to go and get the speech impediment fixed. So I went to a school down in, in Portsmouth, Virginia and I ended up taking a class on it and that ended up helping me to retrain my brain how to speak clearly and be able to communicate. So now, I just, if I ever get stuck, I just go back, take a deep breath, and think about what I'm going to say, and then let my words flow out. Which, now, I am stronger than I used to be, and I know that I can do this, and that I am very confident myself in my own skin and I feel like that along the way God has God has had a lot of obstacles in my life and that I had to overcome them and so that's always been the struggle for me of my personal story of going through the inner layers of my childhood and then eventually growing up in the outer layers of who I am today and still even though I struggle some just to relax and keep pushing. I am strong enough to do this. And as you could tell, I ended up doing this whole video without ever getting stuck, which to me I think is a huge accomplishment, probably because I either knew what I was going to say or I had an idea of what I was going to say and I just came up with it off the top of my head, which if I'm looking at myself and seeing what I can do, then I know without that I can not get stuck. Anyway, that is my personal life story. And anyway, thank you for watching.